Here is the Marang. Pombianagi Uradjuri Nurmbang uh, Nurmbangi uh, no, Nurmbangu uh, Bilas, uh, which means g'day and welcome to the Wiradjuri land and waters. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming down here to take part in this little ceremony to to mark today as the 193rd um, anniversary of the declaration of martial law that um, was declared back on the 14th of August 18, 1824 by um, Governor Brisbane at the time. What led to to a lot of the, the to that their type of to the martial law was when the British had been settled around here and had taken over most of the land on that side of the river where the swamp where it was all swampy but it's all floodplain now. And that and clearing a lot of the land around and outside where Bathurst is today, which in effect was affecting the Wiradjuri people on their own survival, you know, for sustenance, you know, for their medicine and for all the animals that they, they looked after, which were part of our responsibilities. And so after 1815, there were certain skirmishes that started happening. And that. But in uh, 1824, um, martial law was declared, but what led to it was with Windenheim, um leading, leading the, the resistance as he was a lawman. And uh, so that was his job. His wife and one of his children was killed only about four, 400 metres just downstream from us, which is pro uh, land now what the land council used to own. I don't know if they've sold it or not, but that land was bought in 1985 by my uncle, John Bug, because that was the spot where Winderdine's wife and all of them were killed in that particular area. Winderdine had one son that survived, and that's the fellow that my family is descended from, a fellow named Wurrai and he was sent over to the Kiara area while his father, Winderdine, led the resistance against the British. It was very significant in, in the way that he was able to call on almost an army of warriors to come and fight the battle. So, so much that was known about Winderdine, even with other language groups, that they knew of Winderdine and the, and the uh, importance of who he was. So he had people come from Gamilaroi country, he had people come from down south with the Yorta Yorta people, he had people coming from even over the mountains further up north. And so he had Nienpa people all coming here to fight, to fight off the resistance, because they'd heard of the stories of what the British had done on the other side of the mountains. And in the earlier years of the early 1800s, late 1900s, uh, 1700s, Winderine's father, Wurumai, he went over that side of the mountains and helped fight some of the resistance alongside Pomeroy. So there's a big long connection between our people. And my, my family's connection to this land and to, to the events that took place that affect my family and lots of other Wiradjuri people um, around today. So the significance of this is a very important time for us to reflect back I mean, Bathurst boasts how important it was, how they got everything going, which is good when you look at the progress, what they did. But there was one one, one bunch of people that suffered out of it, and that was my people, the Wiradjuri people. We lost big time. And as they celebrated on 1815, up here back in 2015 on the 7th of May, raising the British flag, they they... They celebrate everything that happened on that day. They reenacted everything down to a T. The only thing they didn't do or reenact, because it never took place, was the signing of a treaty with the Wiradjuri people. So as far as the Wiradjuri people are concerned today, and this goes right back to our Elders Council, Wiradjuri Council of Elders, we've always said that this is Wiradjuri land and we've never ever surrendered our sovereignty. So. To us, this is still our sovereign lands. 
The National Trust has committed itself to working with the Aboriginal community to recognise the importance of this day in our community's life and to carry us forward to that next really big bicentenary for Bathurst in 2024. And it's wonderful to be here today with such a gathering of good people, good-hearted, big-hearted people who are, I guess, by our attendance saying we want to be part of a community that recognises our past, values our past, understands the good and the bad of it, but moves forward together based on truth and based on honesty and based on relationship that we can be proud of. Bill keeps mentioning about the importance and the significance of land to Aboriginal people, right? I want to quickly walk you through an exercise that may help you develop that knowledge, that understanding, that real feeling about what land is to Aboriginal people, right? How dare Europeans come here and want to buy our land? That's ridiculous, right? It's not for sale. We don't own it. We don't sell our mother and give our mother away. We care for a nurture. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the significance of land to our people. Thanks, Bill. <coughs>